Good morning, everybody. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It's trash day. What that is? What that is? What that is? Charging Systems International. Feels heavy. Oh. Hose on the curb. Hose on the curb. If a think, a piece of a think. Yeah. Ooh, hey, Daddy got a little heartburn this morning. Them fajitas I ate last night. They're talking to me today. Ow! See if there's anything inside them. Boxes are good. Yeah, look at that, y'all. Dishes. Get some dishes. All right. Dishes, man. The dishes are done, man. Oh my gosh, it's sprinklers. What's up, Mr. Barbecue Pit? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, good thing we got room for you. These things make the biggest mess with all that freaking, uh, all that charcoal. Yeah. There's an interesting looking bag. Check her out. Look at this old thing. It's full of stuff. Oh, it's full of stuff. We'll go through it here. What that is, what that is, is that a freezer? Or a little fridge? Remember, always look inside the fridge. All right, not too bad, not too bad. We'll get her. So we got some room. Yeah, we got room back here. All right. Oh. Oh. Boy, look at this big old pile of stuff. Uh, uh. What's up, light? Then funky rug. Uh. These are in pretty bad shape. Oh yeah. But we got a metal pole. Well, what do we have here? 
I like this stool. Vice grip. Let's clean that sucker up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ugh. Got here a little scrabby scrap scrap. What that see you? What that see you? All right. We're out here on the prowl looking for some stuff again. Hopefully we find some good stuff real fast. We fill this truck up. Yeah. What's in this big old pile of stuff, y'all? Nothing, y'all. What we got here, man, looks like a carpet cleaner of some sort. It's a Hoover, y'all. Ooh, there's a box. What's in that box there? Oh, that's just some, some frozen packs of stuff. Well, look at that there, guys. What we got? Is that a microwave? Or that's a toaster oven, y'all. toaster oven we got here a GE it's kind of dirty but we'll plug it in see if it heats up if not scrappity scraps good you know what I mean jelly bean I saw a box back here had a bunch of stuff in it looked like a bunch of books I like books books are good we got here what we got here oh new moon Breaking Dawn. Team Edward all the way, baby. Ooh. I think I saw something hiding back there behind this there uh, mailbox, y'all. Uh, that's the negative, Ghost Rider. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez. Yo, yo, I got dishes on my mind. Rumor has it Yao Ming used to live back in this neighborhood. They got some monster houses back there. Well, the garbage man's already been through here, but he left this pile of stuff probably been picked through pretty good by now but let's see <sighs> another barbecue pit a couple little kids chairs Pretty bad little shoes. It's a cute little shopping cart. Oh. Let's put that back there. And there's a the big old tote. Oh. Is that the lid? Yes, sir. Get that tote. Barbecue pit. Uh, throw her back there. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that's that seat's got like mold in it. Well, hey, they left us a few things. Sweet. They got saw something over here, y'all. On my way back to the shop. It's a little out of character for me, but hey. Anything in there? What 
Look at that, y'all. It's a, it's a drum. Well, looks broken, but hey, scrap that sucker out. What else is in here? What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's parts for the drum. A drum of some sort. We'll go through that. Like drum parts in here, y'all. What the heck is that? Look at that. Yeah. What a fun little dumpster. I see something down there. All these old cleats. Look like baseball cleats. Ugh, what's that? You grab these. To the very least, donate them. They're not complete trash yet. Dude, that was nasty. Oh, geez, look at that, y'all. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. What is that? Somebody just unloaded a bunch of crap in here. Tire in there. Oh. Bunch of wet clothes. What is that? Oh. That's like one of those uh, sleds. You put the weight on it and you pull behind you. There's fitness equipment in here, y'all. There's a fish tank. Gas can. Could use that as a chair. Nasty chocolate. It's a little bit of tape on there. All right, this is like just out of nowhere. Just on my way back to the shop. It's fire or plastic or fiberglass or whatever. That's for like shooting. Oh, that's like a goal down in there. It's buried though. Oh, it's way deep. I don't know if we're going to be able to get her out. She'll be making a huge mess. That dumbbell was cool, though. I don't see any more. Yeah, that's... Oh, I can't even... Ah, jeez. Can't get those out, guys. I think we got a few good things out of here though, that's for sure. Yeah, see there's the other part of the goal. It's just completely buried under here.
Look at all those koozies, a bag full of koozies. Take that. Oh, there's an aquarium in there, but it's buried too. Shoot, I'll take this, y'all, all day long. A cooler, some sunflower seeds. There's a helmet. And then this is a bag full of nasty clothes. It's all wet. It's been sitting out in the rain. Yeah, look, it's all moldy. Ugh. Oh, something with batteries. What we got here, y'all? Looks like a vacuum. Does it got the cord? Let's see. You on there, Mr. Cord? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. I see numbers and time and such. Let's see. Uh, you know, buck or two. Nothing fancy, that's for sure. But hey, it all adds up. Okay, just be cool, man. Ooh, what's this? Look at that, y'all. It's the remnants of a wagon. A wagon, wa. A wagon, y'all. <laughs> wagon. Mowage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Come on, Dottie. Ooh. I just bump it again. My bad, guys. Working on it. Working on it. Ooh, what's in your trash? Mama said get on home, so I gotta get on home before I get my ass lit up. You know what I mean? Getting the whip with the with the extension cord. Vultures be creeping through my neighborhood. Hey, Vulture. You lost, boy? Alrighty, guys. Another successful day of getting some stuff. Wasn't the best of days, but it was a good day. A great day, actually. We found some great things, and we're going to make a few bucks doing it. Uh, we'll kind of go over what we found here, see uh, see all what we got today. Uh, we'll start off over here uh, in that one dumpster with all the sporting uh, equipment. We found this guy right here. It's, a, it's a, 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 drag, a drag sled. You drag it behind you, put the weight on it. And, uh, you know, work your legs out or whatever. Uh, I could definitely get probably 20 bucks for that. Way more than it would be worth scrapping it out. Uh, fitness equipment sells really fast. And, uh, yeah, people, you know, even even if it's in this kind of shape, you know, because you could just, it was, pro it was probably just left outside. And, you know, there's nothing special about this. You can totally leave it outside and, and you know, just go out back, do your thing. Uh, got a little stool over here. Uh, it's kind of beat up, a little rusty. We clean it up. Uh, I'll probably keep that for myself. That's a pretty nifty little thing there. Some garage sale items here. You know, a little helmet, little chair. Found a little cooler here. A couple of water bottles with the cooler. It's a cooler's in good shape. It's nice and clean. It's got uh, easy access pockets and stuff. So, you know, be able to get a few bucks for that. This guy was inside of it. It says Swiss Arms. Uh, looks like a little pistol holster for, uh, I guess, your your side. Little sidearm, uh, you know, a couple bucks for that for sure. Little uh, target practice dealio here. Uh, definitely uh, a uh, sportsman, whoever dumped all that stuff. Maybe somebody got divorced. Got these baseball cleats here, New Balance. They're in pretty decent shape, you know, be able to get a few bucks for those. Uh, field hockey net. I don't know anything about field hockey STX. Is that a, is that a legit brand? Uh, Y'all let me know little bow here probably nothing too fancy bear archery bear archery but uh you know it still works better than the trash right a uh, little clock over here nothing nothing too special it's like uh, you know i think that's like some sort of press wood or you know made in china so you know but uh, we'll throw a battery in it, see if it works. Probably does, get a couple bucks for it. I uh, found this little, I think that's for a, a hi-hat. That was also in that dumpster. I thought it was all scrapped out, but I think I kind of got it working. It looks like it's missing something here, but it came with all of this stuff. Uh, pro hi-hat clutch and all these miscellaneous fittings and knobs and keys. And so 
we'll put that together we'll put that with that pearl drum thing i found that's kind of weird i've never found anything like this and then i find two in one week that's interesting uh little gas can a uh, little chair you know put 50 cents a buck on these in the garage sale tons of koozies you give out everybody a koozie with you know with you know free koozie with purchase at mike to scavengers garage sale some more garage sale stuff here and then all these books which was actually it's a pretty good little lick here uh these are all like new york times bestseller books see there's the uh the twilight saga i've never heard of these but i like the horse he's got bangs diablo uh star of shadowbrook farm looks like maybe a junior high girl maybe younger i'm not sure uh, but a couple of good kids books here you know the giving tree clyde with a chance of meatballs walter the farting dog uh yeah so this stuff right here i won't put in the garage sale because these are hip and happening books and the uh the books are around the corner from my house you know they probably on these bet these these better ones here um especially these you know they'd probably give me two three maybe even four dollars a book for those especially all the hardbacks and uh they're in such good shape you know the uh there's a, you know a little worn around the edges but you know it's not full of writing it's not missing pages things like that so yeah we'll take this up there probably i'm gonna say we probably get 12 dollars for all these books but hey we're giving books back a second life and making a few bucks doing it too so yeah not too bad let's see what we got here smile shane dawson i hate myself sparrow road the fault in our stars ghost a million ways home pure the misadventures of max crumbly class dismissed the night divided that's a new york times bestseller uh, the world according to Humphrey. Yeah, so probably about 12 bucks there. Found this little wallet, uh, 50 cents, garage sale. It's falling apart, may just end up in the free bucket. Got a little bit of these dishes over here. Not sure what kind of dish this is, but it's pretty. And uh, this guy right here was also in that. That was that box of all those dishes we found. Buffalo China made expressly for NYMM and HRR boston huh new haven little train on there so we got a little little dog bowl gibson home peace dog and then uh this was also in there i'm not sure some sort of like i feel like i've seen these before but it's like molded glass and then i guess they stick the image to the back side of it but it says uh kunst verlag richard German, Nord, Nordseebad Borkum, Borkum. I'm sorry if I butchered that, guys. But yeah, that's pretty cool looking for show. And just, you know, some little dishes here, little serving dishes, little chips and dip and whatnot. So, but uh, yeah, we got those things, a few bucks there, a little bit of scrap back here. Uh, we got some vacuums, we'll tear those apart. Little uh, dorm fridge, tear that apart. And you got a couple little things to tear apart and then this little fireplace guy um i put the magnet up to it and uh this whole face plate right here is brass so i have to i'll probably get in there with maybe like a chisel and pop them pop them rivets out and we'll get that uh that face plate because it's brass and it's probably you know a couple of pounds right there for sure all righty guys last and definitely not least the part you've all been waiting for what's in the mystery bag okay well it's a nice bag maybe leather a little bit older bag got some weight to it maybe about 10 15 pounds so uh let's see do 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 Oh, wow. Alcoholics Anonymous, five years. Sober. Looks like old clippings, old pictures. Up, oh, somebody got him a deer. Oh. Got him a buck. It's an old Bible. Is that a whip? Oh. That's a knife, uh, or a knife uh, sheet. Look at this old Bible, y'all. Seventy-six. Let's see what's all some handwritten notes. 
Yeah. Hey, YouTube. She says, hey, y'all. Let's see here. Midland High School. High school diploma, 60, 59. And all this was just sitting out in front of somebody's house. There's the tassel. Is there any, anything good in here? All these old, old letters. We'll go through those. These old family photos. Kind of breaks my heart that you see all this out there. Here's a a knife or a blade. What's it say? It's in Spanish. Huh. It's got a little uh, stamp. Looks like an eagle. Have to check that guy out. Rah! Oh, we got a, uh, looks like a cigar box, a chocolate box. Oh, more letters. Yeah, not too creepy. United States Pavilion, Spokane. Look at these old photos, man. Look at that. Now that looks old. What is that, guys? Is that old or is that handmade? Wow. Have to get that checked out. I don't even know where I'd go to get that looked at. Interesting stuff. What's that? Oh, somebody's little baby shoes. I can't believe somebody would just throw this stuff out like that. Three coins in your fountain, 4163. What? 1964. Those, these probably need to be tended to because this paper's wanting to fall apart. Holy crap. Just another treasure trove of forgotten memories. Yeah, it's really sad to see this. What is that? Look at that, guys. Does that go on the end of a bayonet? Holy cow. This is probably one of the best finds ever. Especially if this stuff is old. Alrighty, y'all. I need y'all to tell me everything I need to know about figuring out what this is. It looks like there might be a little something there, but I don't even want to try cleaning it up until somebody lets me know what to do with this guy. Holy cow, dude. Here's another one. Look at that. Okay, it's got a it's got a little logo or a little stamp. It's like a star with a ball or something inside of it. Y'all let me know. Wow, that's that's unreal. These look just like photos. Oh, we got some, some oh pictures flying away here, y'all. Pictures flying away. A little windy, a little windy. But yeah, this stuff is beyond cool. It's unreal. Here's another box. Some... Oh, it looks like graduation photos. A little photo reel. Wow. This is so cool, guys. All these photos. Look at an old piece of leather. What is this? It's really old. Oh, we got some military photos. These are in really bad shape. 54th Signal Battalion, East Garrison, Fort Ord, California. Nuts. 
absolutely nuts. Lots of photos. Look at these old stamps. Stamps, y'all. Well, shoot. Alrighty, stamp guys. Y'all know anything about stamps? Eight cents. When was the last time postage was eight cents? Wow, this is just a plethora of unbelievable stuff, guys. Look at these old sunglasses. Those are so cool. Unfreaking believable. Daily strength for daily needs. This is full of photos too. Wow. Look at that. Military police. A Zippo Suburban Group. Looks like some cufflinks. Wow, this is unreal, guys. What's this? More photos. And there's some brand new. 1980 negative film, 110 cartridge. Some cool chalk. Wow. So cool, so cool. All right, well, I'm gonna go through that a little bit more, but I think we've seen for the most part the the awesomeness in this, this, this bag. This is so unbelievable. Wow. Anyways, so yeah, if I find anything really crazy, stay up to date. And if you guys know anything about like these, these, these blades, these knives, these, these guys right here, definitely let me know. These look old. It could definitely be something. So, alrighty, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this segment of curbside scavenging. I'm your host with the absolute most, Mike the Scavenger. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, share with your peeps, hit the notification bell, stay up to date. Uh, check me out on Instagram. I got one. I post some pictures and stuff and before the videos go up. So check it out. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, shout out to everybody by a t-shirt. And if you ain't got one, go get you one. All right, guys, we're going to get back at it, get y'all some more stuff and, uh, find some more treasures and randomness. Ow!